Hi gamers, I just wanted to document this moment. My Warlord Titan is here. Of course, I've been drooling all over this uh, for a long time now, uh, as I think many hobbyists have. Uh, even though I don't play Warhammer 40k at all, I'm just uh, uh, an, an Age of Sigmar guy. But uh, of course, as a, as a fan of Warhammer, uh, I, I think you uh, you can't go wrong with the Warlord Titan. It's basically the biggest thing that you can buy uh, when it comes to miniatures, and uh, certainly one of the most expensive, if not the most expensive. Uh, thing that you can buy like brand new if you don't count any any out of print models and that is and uh, yeah just should be a mammoth undertaking to put all of this together but uh, over the past couple of years I've just learned to love Forge World so much uh, it's just a shame that they don't uh, seem to be doing any uh, new uh, fantasy miniatures so uh, I basically got every fantasy miniature that they have on offer. Uh, so I had to branch out into 40k and what better way to start than uh, the Warlord Titan. Um, I'm not gonna be like opening up, up all of the uh, bags and boxes inside here, just wanted to, like I said, document this moment uh, and uh, maybe, maybe somebody gets something out of this uh, unboxing, even though there are some some others, uh, uh, other videos like this, of course, already on YouTube, but hey, here's mine. Uh, so, uh, comes in two boxes. I think the big one is the uh, uh, main body and uh, the rest are in the box here. The labeled one out of two and two out of two. Um, maybe I'll just, uh, I don't know. Well, let's start with the box number one here. get rid of all this. Maybe I'll just get all of the boxes out here and uh, get rid of the outer box. Get some room here. So, uh, just uh, going through the boxes first. I'm gonna be opening this up, what we got the uh, World of Titan, a macro Gatling blaster. That's arm number one. And uh, then as, uh, arm number two, we have the uh, Sun Fury Plasma Annihilator. And uh, here uh, on top, we're gonna to be placing uh, the Apocaly Apocalypse Missile Launchers. And finally, here is the head. Uh, Mars Pattern Warlord Titan Head. Uh, there weren't any, uh, currently there weren't any uh, options for the head, so it's just the one, but uh, the Beta Pattern Head uh, was at least at some point, not sure anymore, uh, uh, available uh, at purchase at the Warhammer World, uh, but not online. So just, just the one head. Uh, uh, and for the uh, weapons on top, uh, you get two options. They're the missile, missile launchers and the laser blasters. But I just, I opted for the uh, missile launchers because they just, uh, just look a bit different uh, instead of like just two guns on top. I got two guns uh, uh, as the arms. So I, I basically felt, even though it does look cool when you have like two arms, uh, uh, two arm guns and uh, two guns on top uh, of the shoulders, I uh, just wanted something a bit different. So I went with the missile launchers. I think they look really cool. Uh, and for the arms, uh, got the uh, Gatling blaster and the uh, plasma annihilator. But uh, yeah, I was thinking a long time for which, which ones I, I'm, I'm gonna get. Of course, I'm gonna eventually get all of them and I'm gonna magnetize everything so I can switch them out. But uh, for the first assembly here, 
I, I went with two of the coolest guns there is. There's still, uh, there are a total of five, five arm weapons that you can get. Uh, uh, there are the uh, two uh, different cannons uh, and uh, the one, the um, power claw arm. That one uh, I, I really wanted to get, but then I decided to, uh, like, when I, if I get the uh, missile launchers on top, maybe I want both of the arms to be like, like uh, more or less regular guns. And I just just went with uh, this uh, configuration. Maybe I'll open these up uh, a bit later. Let's first check out the contents of the bigger box here. So in total, uh, these boxes uh, weigh like 12 kilograms. So it's like over uh, two and a half, uh, sorry, over 25 pounds. So uh, pretty heavy stuff. So not just your standard cardboard boxes here. Oh, didn't want to come out. And the second one here as well. So here we go. So this is uh, all of the uh, uh, stuff for the uh, body. We got a whole mess of uh, different uh, panels and uh, armor. Yeah, the, I just love the detail. It's, it's just crazy at the amount of uh, stuff that, uh, that goes into building this uh, monstrosity. It's gonna be uh, about uh, 60 centimeters high. And uh, so about two feet high, and it's just gonna be crazy. <laughs> I'm not gonna be unpacking all of these, but yeah, o of course, uh, uh, it's pretty pretty much a guarantee that many of these parts will be uh, will be warped, and uh, just. But that, that's like part of the experience. I I, I put together many many kits uh, of uh, of uh, Forge Road in my time and uh, it's it's just part of the experience the cleaning of the parts and uh, getting every, everything to fit and uh, yeah it's just I love it this is gonna be taking me absolute ages to put together but I wouldn't want it uh, any other way uh, let's see we got some some more parts here it's uh, just <laughs> just checking uh, if uh, everything is included, which I have to do. They they do make mistakes when packing these up, even with uh, smaller kits. So uh, when you have a kit with hundreds of pieces, uh, I I really hope that there there won't be any 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 uh, stuff missing here. But yeah, I gotta go through all of the components and. Uh, let Forge World know if they're missing something. Uh, here we have uh, a little envelope, something that I'm really excited about. And uh, I think this is some really, uh, really nice uh, uh, customer service that they uh, have this uh, certificate of uh, authenticity included. And uh, it's a running number. So my Titan was number uh, 1,465. Total made for uh, for the whole world. So not a lot of these floating around. Uh, uh, I think the kit is now like six years old. So you can count from there how many they sell uh, each year. So yeah. Uh, yeah, this is this is really cool. Maybe I, I should get this framed or something like that. And then we have the uh, construction guide, and uh, here you can see the crazy amount of uh, different parts. 
and yeah this uh, this is uh, uh, very much uh, better than the uh, oh we got a, we got a little uh, misprint here on the page it's okay uh, very much better than uh, than the regular uh, instructions that Forge World puts the luck like black and white uh, uh, photocopies so yeah this is a really nice nice upgrade Uh, let's take a look at the uh, guns and everything next. Maybe start with the head. So uh, here's the head and uh, the two uh, decorative shield pieces here and uh, we also have the, uh, uh, was this the princeps? I think uh, he's the guy running the whole show here and uh, we should, uh, and there are a couple of uh, co-pilots here and uh, we should have the princeps, yep, on, on foot as well. So this is a nice, nice little touch I'm gonna get. A, Get a base for him and uh, place him uh, on the back of the uh, observation deck that's behind the uh, uh, Titan. And uh, separate uh, instructions for assembling everything. We have the missile launchers. So yeah, they they come in uh, two pretty big pieces here. But yeah, I really like uh, like the look of these uh, with the uh, uh, ton of uh, diff uh, ton of uh, different holes for uh, for all the missiles. And uh, I'm uh, <laughs> actually thinking about should I magnetize each missile tip, but maybe that's that's like too much. <laughs> but yeah, really, really cool stuff and uh, lots of uh, small uh, little rows of, of the missiles. And uh, while the uh, laser blasters would add like a lot of uh, uh, length, uh, uh, they they reach out longer. These do add uh, a little bit of more height than the laser blasters, so it does uh, look a bit more imposing like when looked at uh, in front, even though the uh, laser blasters are, they do have more mass, basically. But like I said, I'm gonna be getting, getting the laser blasters and the remaining three arms at some point, but uh, not, uh, no reason to get everything at the same time. And finally, we have the uh, two arms here. First, have, uh, first up, we have the uh, uh, Gatling blaster. A six barreled Gatling gun, basically. Looks like this. Here we can see also the laser blasters on top. But yeah, I think this is like, uh, looks cool like an, like an old school uh, weapon. No, no lasers or anything, just good old fashioned projectiles, basically. So I wanted to get uh, this weapon for that. But on the other end of the spectrum, we have the uh, Plasma Annihilator, which uh, overall uh, I think is the coolest weapon, weapon there is. Got some cables here, whatnot. And just some, 
some really cool design here. All of the uh, coils here and uh, yeah, looks looks really futuristic. And like I said, I, I don't play 40K, but I believe this is like the best weapon for, for the World of Titan that you can get. Not sure about that. You can correct me in the comments if you, if you want. And uh, this is the way the uh, plasma annihilator looks like. So, yeah. So, uh, just a quick uh, unboxing like this. I'm gonna be having my, my work cut out for me. This is gonna, I don't know, should I even be making any, any uh, 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 assessments on how, uh, <laughs> how long this is gonna take me, but uh, like easily a few hundred hours, I think. Uh, I think like the uh, assemble uh, assembling itself, it's gonna. I don't think I can do it under a hundred hour, hundred hours, if I want to do a good job with it. Not sure actually even if I'm gonna be painting this. Uh, uh, like I don't have a, a, a spray gun uh, uh, for 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 painting nice gradients or anything. So uh, not, not sure if I'm uh, that well equipped yet to, uh, to uh, uh, paint all of this, but we'll see. Uh, I'm gonna be uh, assembling this as, as well as I can, I can and uh, mostly I got this for, for like the uh, uh, assembly challenge and uh, it's, it, it, it will look, uh, look great on my, on my shelf even when unpainted. So uh, I guess the real challenge, of course, comes that uh, I would have to assemble this in uh, reasonable um, sub-assemblies uh, for any prospects of future painting. So uh, got to take it, that into account. Can't just glue everything into place, uh, even if I'm not uh, 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 like immediately going to paint it. But we'll see. I'll, I'll keep you posted. Uh, but uh, you're going to be better posted if you follow uh, my Instagram and Twitter channels, some Finnegamer on those as well. Uh, so uh, you're welcome to come and check out my, my progress, especially Instagram. I think that's, that's the place I'm going to be uh, sharing most of this uh, project. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye.